Okay, so now we have our next layer to add on to our uh, rolling counts. As you can see, I'm not stepping flat footed. You like to make it smooth. So, what I'm thinking about is I'm thinking about peeling my foot off the ground with the, the, the knee coming forward and then the heels coming up, peeling the rest of the foot, the, the arch, the ball, the toe coming off. And then I'm going to, I might pick up slightly and then reverse it. I'm going to put the at the top of the, of the toe, to the ball, the arch, the heel, and of course straighten that leg. And the other foot is doing the opposite as I do that. So I'm going to show you this way around. So as I put this one down, the other one also starts lifting up as this one straightens and now this one's continuing its journey up. That's now rolling downwards and the other one's rolling up. That's how we create this, this look, this smooth look as we're rolling our counts rather than being that's the next layer to think about. So let's try that together. So we're going to go on the facing you. You're welcome to, to lift the foot to face me and then mirror me. So we're going to go in seven and eight and one and two and three and four, five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six. Bit of swung timing there. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing as well is as we're going and uh, I'm already picking up the foot. So it'll be oh one, I'm going and uh, and now I'm stepping on one and uh, two and uh, three. So that's just rolling down, the other one's coming up and uh, so we call this the rolling count. So assembling base to as I showed you earlier, there's always movement going on, just how it can look really smooth always movement happening. Uh, so if I do it facing this way, so a new angle, I'm going and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four, five and uh, six. So that is a little bit of a foundational look at our rolling gun, how to roll our feet again. As well, the knees are coming forward. I'm not picking up the knees. We're saying we can create this marching look. We are not marching. And uh, now a bonus one to add on to that as well, is that some people like to keep their foot always in contact with the ground because they're moving. For example, I'm going backwards, so I'm rolling my foot, but I'm keeping it always in contact with the ground as I go backwards, instead of picking it up, which some people might do it as well, it's another option you have. So, as I like to say, there's many different techniques in West Coast Swing, so it's one that will learn several, and then see which ones you like, and you can always pick and choose uh, with a specific reason for choosing them. Once you're dancing, you might think, oh, I'm going to be smooth, so I'm going to have my feet on the ground, but I'm going to keep them on the ground for this song because I feel like it's very smooth. Um, so, uh, going forward, there's a different story in West Coast Swing because we might step with our heel first, with our ball. There's also another option where, you drink, where the foot is dragging on the ground, let's say dragging, uh, tracing on the ground, and then we hit and go to that heel ball. And there's different options. So, of course, we're not going to go forwards and um, roll, roll like this as we come forward, unless we're adding a style. That's why I'm kind of focusing more on going backwards when we're rolling. Or we can also go to the side if we want to and roll as we go into the side as well. So, a little bit more down the rolling count. As always, if you have any questions or comments or anything else you want to say, feel free to post in the group. And uh, do like this video if it gave you any value, you're welcome to like it. And also to subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any suggestions of what you'd like to see, then do write that in the comments box. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.